Hi, friends. Well, this is the kind of day that we're having in Quartzsite today. You hear the generator running because the sun is not shining. Yesterday, we went for a ride with a bright blue sky off-road. Actually got into four-wheel low with my Jeep and had to exercise the computerized hill descent. Let's go for a ride yesterday. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. As I sit here beginning to edit this for you, I'm looking at that blue sky, and I'm looking at the rain out the window and the gray sky, and I'm thinking to myself, did I really appreciate how blue the sky was yesterday? Food for thought. Hey, this is an exploratory uh, drive. What we're exploring is answering the question whether or not the blue van, blue van Dan's van, can go up to the top of that hill. We've been looking at this road for a week saying, I wonder if the van could make it up there. I wonder if the van could make it up there. By the way, while I'm thinking about blue van Dan, who's riding in the passenger seat with me here, if you want to see some great uh, nighttime pictures of my tricycle with all of the new lights on it, check out Blue Van Dan's latest video. This uh, is a test to see if the Blue Van can make it here, and so far, um, we're not uh, worried about it. That was the big wash that's west of Quartzsite. We're heading off towards the hills. A little bit of a narrow path here and there. Get some more of that uh, Arizona pinstriping on the Jeep. What's that up there? Oh, it looks like a some kind of a structure, a building. Hmm. A stone cabin. wonder how long that's been there. Never know what you're going to run into out here in the desert around Quartzsite, Arizona. Oh, we found a cabin. Complete with an outdoor cooking area. Cooking area is in a bit of disrepair, but the cabin looks livable, don't you think? All we need is uh, a better paint. Oh, what's this say? DFC Department? What DFC nineteen thirty four fifty four fifty four? Oh, look at that fireplace. I think we could live here. This was probably the bathroom. Or the kids' room. Look at there. Nice piece of quartz in the wall. Yeah, a roof, a couple of windows, and a door. This looks like it was added on after, look. Oh, yeah, that was like an addition. Look. The, yeah, the bathroom was a later addition. Before that, they're just... Well, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, there's a pipe right here for uh, going. Going to put a heater in it. Wow, yeah. Stovepipe. Down there would be quartzite. Down there would be La Posa South. 
way down there, if you can see it, would be Kofa. We are continuing on with the test to see if the blue van can do this. And again, it's looking like we will, but what's this? This might have been the first place where we decided, nope, the blue van is not going to do this. And I think I'm stopping here, yes. To put it into four-wheel drive. I've been in two-wheel drive to, just to see if the van could do it, but switched to four-wheel drive just so that I wouldn't spin my new tires going up this little short rocky hill. Yeah, this one coming up, uh, this one definitely sealed the deal on the decision that blue van dan's blue van's not coming here the video does not show how sharp the angle is here uh this is uh real jeep stuff if you don't have a very short approach angle and departure angle uh your vehicle is not doing this kind of thing Lori's camp next door here on this rainy day. I don't think anybody's in trouble, but there is water running past. Let's get back to the blue sky video. This next one coming up is something my Jeep should maybe not be doing. I have to hug the wall on the left very high in order to avoid the rocks on the right. And I'm at a very tippy angle. And I'm inches from taking out the side of my Jeep on the right. But, Shakespeare said, all's well that ends well. However, we are not to the end yet. And this part, going up that last part of the hill there, this is some real Jeep stuff. I stop right here and switch from four-wheel drive to four-wheel low. And I have computerized differential braking, which means that if one of my four wheels slips, the computer breaks that wheel and sends all the power to a different wheel that has traction. And it kind of makes a terrible, scary racket when it's doing all of this stuff, but it works really well. Some people say that it's better than just uh, locking differential, but I don't know. Uh, I don't need to be in any, uh, to, to have any uh, Chevy Ford arguments on my YouTube channel. Um, all I can tell you is that this is extremely steep, loose rocks, and we are creeping up it just fine. A left turn where I can't see the road over the hood. And as we make this last little bit of climb, you just have to have faith sometimes that this is a road and not a cliff. Top of the world in Quartzsite, Arizona. <sighs> Yowzer! So, the question is, how are we going to get down? I know. Wow. I found the bus. There it is. And there's Jerry's rig. We stand, stand out a bit. All right, let's go look at the downhill side of this equation. There's. Where's my finger? Oh, right there is the dumpster, and that's our rigs right there. Okay, there's the new 
and the sibling stuff is totally we're going to be called stabilization ponds. Stabilization ponds. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Got the new pumping station right there to the right. I wonder if they've got a new well over there. Anyway. Thanks for the ride, dear. Well, we've been looking at this hill for a week, thinking we could drive up the with your van. Uh, I don't think so. But I'm kind of wondering if this is a hill or a cliff. Oh, yeah, we're going to need hill descent. You okay. Ready for another adventure? Buckle up. It's all downhill from here. It never bothers me going uphill. What bothers me is going downhill. I don't know if it's like if your brakes give out or your engine quits or something, you're, you're not thinking about what's behind you when you're going uphill. When you're going downhill, you have a mechanical failure. You're looking at the possibility of death right before your eyes. So we're doing hill descent. You can hear the computer and the brakes working. I do not have my foot on the brake. I don't have my foot on the gas. We're just creeping along and uh, creeping and sliding. Creeping, not sliding. It lets one wheel at a time go. You can hear the. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the way it's working. How about you? Oh, definitely. This is way cool. Well, I see you have your seatbelt on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing to um, guarantee me for and, you. And we're going, <laughs> we're going zero miles an hour. No. Uh, Great you doing that? Way cool, Jeep. Yeah, I do need to tell you that the last time I used this, I couldn't get it out of it. Oh boy! It's going to take a long time to get home at this rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We made it. The Jeep performed perfectly. Now we're taking a shortcut, going down the wash on the back road, the back way, from camp to the Dollar General. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.